Welcome to McFly Angler. Join me in this video where I show you how I tie this fly. For a hook, you want a standard size dry fly hook like this Risen Barbless 100, and I'm tying in size 14 today. Place the hook securely in your vise. The thread I'm using is Vivas 16 knot in black. You might need to go a little stronger as you will see later in this video though. Start your thread a few eye lengths back from the eye of the hook as not to crowd the hook eye and then bring your thread all the way back to the bend of the hook after snapping off the waist. Also make a little thread bump here as well. In last week's video I showed how to tie a last chance cripple which used just the tips of CDC feathers. I forgot to mention not to throw those feathers away though as we will be using them in this video. So we need some dubbing from two CDC feathers. So just strip off the fibers from the stem and there we go we have CDC dubbing. Now this is not that easy to dub onto your thread, but CDC floats really high, so I love using it for dry fly bodies. Just dub on the best that you can, and we'll trim it in a second anyway to shape the body. So now we're going to trim the body to form a bit of a taper, like so. For the wing, I used a hen saddle, because it's a feather I have, but feel free to use other feathers in the same manner. Either way, try to find a feather with a good tip and without any frayed fibers. This one will do. Also, you will need to strip off the fibers from the back portion. Measure out about two times the hook length and strip the fibers off past that point. Now this feather is super round, so I'm gonna trim it to more of a caddis shape. It might not be needed on the feather you're using depending on its shape. Most feathers have a slight curve to them, so tie this feather in facing forward on the hook leaving a small space at the eye with the curve angling upward. Trim off the excess stem, then test how the feather will look by pushing it rearward with your nail. Now form a dubbing loop. This is why earlier I said that you might need to use a heavier thread. Dubbing loops put some pressure on the thread and can bust it, so be careful. Also make sure you put on some dubbing wax as well. Then take two CDC feathers and align the stems as best as you can. Earlier this week, I made a video reviewing some chip clips that I use for a dubbing clip. I will link that review in the description section. Anyway, with whatever clips you have, grasp the feathers with some room between the clip and the stems. Then cut the stems off, leaving some feathers sticking out from the clip. Use the clip to place the stems onto a loop, and then just spin up the loop to create a CDC hackle. Wrap the hackle right behind the wing. Capture the loop and trim off the thread. Now push the wing feather rearward with your nail and put a few wraps over it to hold it down facing rearward. Up by the eye of the hook there will be some feathers sticking out forward from both the CDC and hen feather. Just do your best to coax them rearward with your fingers and tie them down behind the hook eye. I actually crowded the eye a little on this fly, which I wasn't happy about but things could be worse. Also, word of warning, it is very easy to break the feather wing off before you tie down, so don't pull it like I did here. Now we need some more CDC in the clip. This time, only one feather will be sufficient. Also make another dubbing loop and then attach the CDC in the same way. After spinning up your loop, make wraps in front of the wing, stroking all the fibers rearward with each wrap. Capture the loop and trim off the waist. Then form a nice dark head on this fly. Try to cover all the CDC with your thread and then whip finish your fly. Now look for extra long CDC fibers and trim them shorter like so. Now you could use head cement here but I like using this ultra thin resin by Solares. You harden it with this light which I've reviewed before. Link of that review will be in the description section. Anyway, paint the resin and then cure the head with your light. This will make a nice shiny and durable head on your fly. And there we have it, a caddis fly using some CDC feathers that will normally be thrown out. I personally don't like to waste things, so I always look for ways of getting everything out of my materials. And if you have some tricks in saving materials, I'd like to hear about them in the description section. Also, go check out Risen Fly. They make the hooks I use today. And they also sell fly rods and reels, and many other awesome products for fly fishing. You also get a discount by typing in my code McFly at checkout. I will see you on the next video. Now you go catch some fish.